So if you have a WordPress website and you want this to rank well in Google organically, then you will know that building links is important. But not only the external links, for which we have a couple of tools that I will present to you shortly, but also internal links. And internal links means links from one page to another, from one page to a post, from one post to another. So internal links are also very important. But as you know by now, everything takes a lot of time. So I went on a quest to find something easier and better to do this. My name is Olaf, I am your tool finder, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Interlinks Manager. So why did I need this? Well, I told you before I have a couple of sneaker websites and um, I already did some stuff with external links, but I knew and I read everywhere that internal links were also very important or are also very important. Uh, the only problem is we are already very busy doing for example, uh, stuff on our website, having writers write our blogs, trying to build external links, and we don't have the time to do the internal link building as well. I mean, if you have a website with only a couple of blogs and you write a new one only once a week or maybe two weeks, then it shouldn't be too difficult to enter some internal links on the fly. But if you have more content than that, and maybe also more auto-generated content or user-generated content, it gets very hard to do all this internal link building the old-fashioned manual way. So I went on a search for an automatic and evergreen solution that would easily create internal links in my WordPress website without me having to do much. And luckily for me and for you, I found this solution. It is called Interlinks Manager and it's a great plugin that saves you a lot of time and at the same time boosts your SEO. Obviously it's a WordPress plugin and it generates internal links on autopilot. So you just set and forget it and then you see your pages and posts rise in Google automatically. What are the features of this wonderful plugin? Well, it analyzes the internal links, it calculates the link juice that flows from the pages to the posts and vice versa, so you get a visual ID, how much link juice is passed on. It generates internal links suggestions when you're on a page or a post. It will make some suggestions for other pages or posts that you could link to. It creates auto internal links. Actually, this was the feature that made me buy this plugin. It will track the internal links so you know uh, how many people visited, for example, those links. You can export all the data to CSV for further analysis. And there are a lot of options to customize. For example, um, if you don't want 100 auto links on one page, you can set a maximum of that. That's just one of the things you can optimize. But there are a lot of uh, options that you can customize. So when it comes to benefits, it's easy. You just put in your effort once and when you're done, you're done. All the other links will be created automatically. If you write a new blog post, and certain keywords are in it, bang, there's your link. Really, really easy and powerful. So it will be created on autopilot and you don't have to worry about it ever again. And you will see an actual pretty significant boost in SEO as well, because it will tell Google which pages are the most important according to you and according to your website. So if you, for example, have a couple of money-making pages, then you should create auto links from all kinds of posts or pages within your WordPress website to your money-making pages immediately. It's also better for users because they get those links and they know where to go to next. It's very cheap. It's, it's a one-time fee, actually. It's uh, in 2020, it's like, uh, let me check, uh, $33 only. And well, if, if you compare that to manual labor, only one link will take you 10 minutes. So it's a no-brainer that you should buy this immediately because it will save you heaps of time. And then I'm not even talking about the boost in SEO and the traffic that it will bring. So really, it's a no-brainer. Buy this immediately through the link after watching this. The Interlinks Manager reviews. Well, um, it's, it's a private plugin, so it's not in the WordPress plugin repository. So that's why you see a little bit of a different review here. But as you can see, 54 ratings and almost a five-star 
based on all those ratings, which is very great. And I use this for a lot of websites and I can't say anything else than that I'm very happy with it and it just does what it says. So for example, for my uh, sneakervisor.nl website, you can see my organic traffic at that time grew uh, within one week with uh, 38% from 2600 to 3585. And largely this was due to the internal links combined with some external link building that I'm going to talk to you about in other video. And as you can see here, this is what I meant. I had both internal links and some external link building. And this Nike Air Max 90 Damas, which means uh, women's, went on to actually number one at some point here in the Netherlands uh, with 4,400 searches every month. And then it bounced back a little bit to the fourth position and it stayed there. So let's see what we can save in terms of money. So this is really a huge time saver over and over again. And if we would go to the calculator itself, then you can see here that if you only do 20 internal links per month, which means one every workday, and the extra time you need per link would be 10 minutes, which is actually a pretty good guess, I would say, because you need to find the right post to link to. You would have to edit the post, find the link, check the link, create the link, etc. So that would be 10 minutes and you have a client fee of $60 that you would calculate. Then in this case, it would save you $200 per month or put it uh, in another way, you could make $200 more per month because you have these internal links going on and you don't have to do this yourself manually anymore. But even if you are faster, it would only take you five minutes and you have an internal rate of, for example, uh, $30, you would still save $50 a month. So also in this worst case scenario, within one month, you would earn back the whole fee that you would pay for this plugin in your life. So it's really a no brainer. But in general, I would say maybe if you are a really heavy blogger or vlogger and you would do, for example, 100, then you can see what this would save you. So let's go back to the presentation and check the proof of the pudding, obviously. So what am I going to show you? Well, first of all, the interlinks manager dashboard, then we will do a sort by auto internal link so you can see how that works. I will edit one of those auto internal links. We show you the page with the links in them so you can see on the front end what this would look like. We will check the feature page suggestions and then I'll show you all the options that are in the system. Good, let's go. So now we are in the WordPress dashboard and as you can see, I'm in the Interlinks plugin. And this is the dashboard as you can see over here. So it will tell me what posts do I have links in? And um, for example, this would mean the content length, the manual links, the automatic interlinks, the recommended interlinks, the visitors that were generated by this link. And this is, let me see, the optimization flag. So you can set some thresholds and if it would go above those, it will give you a flag that you should optimize this. So for example, if I would do a search for Nike Air Max, 90 women's then I would get this overview and as you can see it would link directly to the page so we can check that later on you can see it here when I hover over it and we can edit it as well this post so let's do that later but first of all I want to show you that you can make those pretty automatic internal links and this is the go-to feature, this is the feature why I bought this in the first place. All the other things don't interest me that much. This is why I bought it. So I did a search for Air Max 90. And as you can see, there are three different ones. I want this to be, I want to check the women's. And if I'm going to edit this, then you will see how this works. So let's go down a little bit. And here you will see the workings of it. So I'll give it a name. I can put it in a category if I want to. Keyword, the target URL that the link will point to. 
And I can also say that I want a case insensitive search, for example, yes or no, no follow, yes or no, open a new tab, yes or no. And all these settings, I can also uh, check them as default in the options session. So I can determine over there what should be the default value in this field. But in this case, this looks pretty uh, good to me. And so if you would go to the actual target of this page, then you would see this would be the front end. And if we scroll down, you can see that this is how the interlinks manager actually works. So you have here the link over there, over there. So everywhere where it says Air Max 90, it will be pointing to this page. So if we would do this, you will end up over there. So let me show you how this works. So for example, if I have this page and I have like MX90 and I would like to point this link to another page, then I could go about this like this. So I would call this AirMax90 and then the keyword would also be like that and the link to this would be model like so title just the same open a new tab yes use the follow no that's good case insensitive no um, so it should only target this with the capitals and I'm going to add it like so and this is the page before entering the interlink and when we refresh this you can see now the links are all in this page. And if I click this, I would open it in a new tab, as said, and there you are. So this is how that works. Interesting is also the suggestion. So if I would go to edit this page, then you can see that in this page, we would have the interlinks suggestion box and we will have at the top, the interlinks optimization. So it will give you some pointers. For example, here it says, please optimize the number of interlinks. This post currently has 21 interlinks. Based on the content length and your options, their number should be included between 38 and 40. So I could even introduce some more links without being punished by Google or being uh, obnoxious for my users. What is also a great feature is that if you have written a blog then you can click this generate button and the system will do some suggestions based on an algorithm but you can also influence because in the options section you can determine what it should um, include or not in its algorithm to base its suggestions on so if you're writing a blog you just click generate you can click it multiple times and it will give you some suggestions as to where you could point this to all right so last but not least we have lots of options as i told you before and in this case there are different tabs and for the auto links auto internal links we can set some default uh, values as i explained earlier and the same goes for the suggestions the optimization the link use tracking analysis meta boxes capabilities and advanced so here you can just specify this plugin to perform exactly as you like it. Last but not least, I would like to show you the link juice. So for example, these are the pages that get the most link juice from the other ones. So in my case, I have a couple of specified pages that for me are the most important. And those get the most link juice by creating manual and automatic interlinks. So I hope you like this and I'll see you in the next video.